Hey, can you hear me? I'm so glad you're alive. I thought you might be dead since you were just lying there. I am Vanessa Holden, one of the pioneers. We help outcasts like you. I'm sure Orbis coerced you into mining Terracite and bringing it back, right? Don't worry, I'm not a watchdog sent by Orbis authorities. You'll soon find out why we're trying to help you. Just focus on learning how to survive for now. Regardless of whether you choose to stay on Earth or go back to Orbis, you have to stay alive first. Use the moving keys to move around. You can use the directional keys and the sprint key together to sprint. Looks like you got hurt from the impact of landing. You should see a bandage in one of the quick slots at the bottom of the screen. Press the number of the quick slot with the bandage to recover some health. Do you see the green indicator blinking in the lower left corner of the screen? It means that your machine arm is low on energy. Use the battery pack on one of the quick slots to recharge it. Press the number of the quick slot with the battery pack to start recharging your machine. Make sure you don't go to a dangerous area though. Check the danger level displayed on the mini map in the upper left corner of the screen. If you go to a highly dangerous area, you'll just die right away so don't try to get adventurous. I know that machine arm must feel awkward, but try to get used to it. Let's try something new. Press Vision Scan to activate Vision Scan. It will help you when you look for something helpful nearby. That vision is a gift from Orbis, just like your machine arm, so put it to good use. While vision scan is active, it consumes energy, so make sure not to waste it. Of course, you can use a battery pack again to recharge energy. You should be able to find some canned food in abandoned buildings nearby. You might get attacked by wild beasts or other ex- Out in the wild, you can gather edible plants like mushrooms. You can also hunt animals and cook their raw meat using a barrel grill or a grill. Did you get all the materials? Press crafting key and select one of the armor pieces marked with an exclamation mark to craft it. I'm sure Orbis has saved a crafting manual on your machine arm. An outdated android, a relic you'd only find in a museum back in Orbis. It normally doesn't attack people. Its system must be seriously buggy. Back when we pioneers stayed in this building, it used to help us a lot. This makes me sad. You can equip the armor you just crafted by double-clicking on it from the inventory. Death is a part of life here, with no doctors and hospitals. However, if you install a sleeping bag or a bed ahead of time, you can respawn there after dying. Craft a sleeping bag and add it to a quick slot, then install it on the ground. You should pick an obscure spot so mean exiles don't destroy your sleeping bag.
Press map key and open the map to see the location of your sleeping bag or bed. When you select my bed from the respawn screen, you'll be respawned at the location of that sleeping bag or bed. However, when you respawn, you'll lose the items you were carrying except for the ones in the secure slots of your inventory. The rest will be dropped at the spot of your death. You have to go back there and retrieve them before someone else takes them. Craft a camo storage box and install it on the ground, storing items in there. Of course, you want to pick a spot where others won't find it. To gather materials so you can branch out, you need to explore further. However, that would also increase your chance of getting hurt. The healing protocol instantly restores your health. Crafting healing protocols using a workbench can save you some materials. If you need more crafting materials, look in the abandoned buildings. Equip the crafted protocol on the lower left part of the character window. The equipped protocol will be automatically added to a quick slot in the lower right corner of the screen. Then, you can use it by pressing its exclusive quick slot. You need materials to craft a new firearm. I think you'll need to fight a combat robot, so make sure you get some ammunition, food, and medical supplies before you leave. The machine arm saves the experience you gain as you try to survive. When the experience points reach a certain level, you can upgrade your machine arm. Press the skill key and upgrade something. Orbis assault bots are some of the weaker combat robots out there. Still, they can pose a threat if they gang up on you as a group. You can get materials for an assault rifle from robots. Kill more of these robots and craft an assault rifle. Since assault rifles take light ammo, just like pistols, you can use it right away.
now it's time for you to build a shelter for yourself. You can find the materials you need from the resources around you. If you have found a place, let's get started with constructing your home. First, build a foundation. Press and hold the construction key until you see a ring of options. While still holding the construction key, move the mouse cursor to the building part you want to build. Then release the construction key to start building that part. Select the foundation, and the area where you can build it will be indicated in blue. If you don't want others to barge into your home, set up a password on your door. Hold and press interaction key near the door to set up a password. First, the whole building process will seem strange and slow. It was like that for us pioneers too. Still, you need to get used to it if you want to go back to Orbis. Now work on building the rest of the parts to complete your shelter. To make sure that you're the owner of the building you built, you have to install a building core. Craft a building core. Once you craft it, you can add it to a quick slot and install on a built foundation or a ceiling. The building core also works as a power generator. It can turn anything, including terracite, into electricity. If you have any items you don't need anymore, just stick them into the building core to get rid of them. This home is now yours. You can fill it with anything you want. Install a crafting bench and use it to make other devices. Build a power board on the foundation or the ceiling. Then, install the crafting bench you crafted on the built power board. Keep in mind that most structures that run on electricity must be installed on a power board. Craft a bed using the crafting bench and install it in your shelter. 
Then, when you die, you can respawn on the installed bed. Press interaction key near your crafting bench to use it. If the building core doesn't have electricity, you can't use the crafting bench. Before crafting a bed, check how much power the building core has. The building core generates power by disintegrating anything. Convert any items you don't use into power with the building core. Of course, feeding it Terracite produces the most power. Whenever you have the resources, craft other structures like a forge or a repair bench and install them in your shelter. Let's craft a sturdier piece of armor. Open the crafting bench and craft one of the armor pieces marked with an exclamation mark. More powerful weapon and equipment increase your chance of survival. Now you're going to venture out into more dangerous areas. The battle will be tougher, so make sure to get ammo, food, and medical supplies.
orbital supply signal detected near you. It should have some useful things for you. Sniper is after you. You've moved away from the sniper. Watch out! A hidden sniper is after you. Sniper is after you. You've moved away from the sniper's watch.
got a ride. Press interaction key to ride it. Vehicles use up power as they run, so you need to craft vehicle batteries to recharge. Press and hold interaction key near the restored vehicle and select vehicle battery from vehicle management mode to consume one and recharge the vehicle. If your vehicle gets damaged from crashes or attacks, you can repair it from the management mode as well. Just remember that you need metal and terracite to repair vehicles. If the vehicle is damaged beyond the point of repairs, it explodes. You can die if that happens. So if you see smoke while riding a vehicle, press interaction key to get off.
If you don't have any ammo in your inventory, you can't reload your firearm. The number of remaining shots available for the currently equipped firearm is displayed in the lower right corner of the screen. Get into the habit of crafting ammo so that you won't run out during combat. We're getting closer to a hyena dropship. Watch out.
It is a data card clip of Orbis. I bet the hyena soldiers are looking for the rest of the clips of this data card. Finding and combining all the clips will let you see what's on it. Since so many hyena soldiers are looking for it, this clip must contain something very important. <laughs>